The Craig Rip Cut and Craig Ankyu Cut provide two great ways to turn your ordinary circular saw into a precision cutting tool. Both the Rip Cut and Ankyu Cut are designed for cutting a large sheet down into smaller pieces, but they do that in different ways. The Rip Cut uses an edge guide that follows the edge of the sheet as you push the saw along. The saw rides on an aluminum arm that's attached to the edge guide. So with the rip cut, you can easily cut a sheet lengthwise, which is called ripping, at any width up to 24 inches or half the width of the sheet. You can also cross cut a sheet up to 24 inches wide the same way by using the edge guide to follow the end of the sheet as you cut. When you want to cut multiple pieces to the exact same size, the rip cut is a perfect choice because it lets you make repeat cuts without having to measure multiple times. Simply lock in that measurement once and, as you cut, the Rip Cut's precision edge guide follows the edge of the sheet, while the arm positions the saw at the exact distance you set. If you're making a bookcase or a cabinet, for example, you might need two sides, a top and bottom, and shelves that are all the exact same width. So with the Rip Cut, you can easily cut multiple strips to the exact same width. The IQ cut allows you to make cuts anywhere you want to on the sheet without relying on following the edge. It does this by guiding the saw along a long aluminum track that you simply lay on the sheet where you want to cut. That means you can cross cut a sheet right down the middle, cut at an angle, or make a rip cut up to 48 inches long. Using the IQ cut is easy. Just make a couple of marks where you want to cut, then align the edge of the IQ cut with the marks. It stays in place without clamps. Make your cut and the track guides your saw perfectly straight. The track also offers a great advantage when you're cutting across the grain of a sheet of plywood. When making these cuts using a circular saw freehand, the blade can easily splinter the fragile face veneer. But the guide strips on the Accu cut that help align the track and hold it in place also prevent splintering. They do this by hugging tight against the saw blade to protect the fragile veneer layer and hold it in place. The AccuCut is also great for projects with angles. To make the angled sections, just mark out each end and then lay the AccuCut track on the marks. Guide your saw along the track and you can cut those angles with perfectly straight, splinter-free edges. Whether you choose the Rip Cut or the AccuCut, you'll get better performance and accuracy from your circular saw than you probably ever thought was possible. If you have both, you can even move your saw back and forth between them. That means you can use the same saw on both tools without having to change setups and get the best of both worlds, edge-guided and track-guided cutting.